For one lucky fox in Poland, life wouldn't begin and end on a fur farm. Instead, she'd be adopted by Polly Luszczynskaya, who didn't stop her efforts at bringing the pup home. She also paired her new pet with an unexpected companion to ease the fox's loneliness. Luszczynskaya, a software QA engineer, calls Kraco Poland home. She admitted to the Irish Independent in 2017 that she and her husband, Panya Keslenka, have a soft spot for unconventional pets. But when they adopted their pet fox, named Jay, they had more reason to take her in than just her unusualness. Leszczynskaya said they had saved the fox pup from a fur farm, where she would have likely been subject to cruel treatment. In Leszczynskaya's country of residence, Poland, fur farming is legal. Exposé pieces have shown the harsh treatment that the mammals receive on these properties. Some are kept in cages with wire mesh floors, for example, which can lead them to develop twisted feet. Other foxes have gnawed their tails off because the environment is so stressful, and some animal rights groups claim that these ailments were left untreated too, as farm owners opted to collect their fur and breed the creatures instead. But at Luszczynskaya and Kozlenka's house, Jay found herself in a life far from the fur farm, from which she was rescued. She became our best friend, Luszczynskaya wrote in a bored panda page. As the trio bonded, Jay had the full attention of both her adoptive parents. Luszczynskaya wrote, I've been working from home, that's why I was always nearby. My husband loves Jay too, and they spend a lot of time together. They soon learned that their fox had a unique, quirky personality. Jay is very friendly, playful, and curious, Luszczynskaya wrote. In that way, she and her husband got lucky. Many foxes are coy in new situations around new people. With her curious, fearless personality in mind, it's not hard to believe that Jay had an interesting hobby. She always tries to steal things, Luszczynskaya wrote. She shared photo evidence, too, of her pet fox eating a broken egg, nibbling a croissant, and even biting the cap of a beer bottle. But the fox had many sweet moments, too. Leshchinskaya, her husband, and their pet shared a bed, and they often woke up to Jay in a cozy, curled-up position. They even celebrated holidays together, birthdays included, but their round-the-clock time together would eventually come to an end. This year, I've changed from remote work to the office. I was very afraid that Jay would miss us, as she would always be alone, but the family came up with a solution to keep their pet fox as sociable as she had been. We decided that Jay needed a friend who'd be her age and size, Leszczynskaya wrote. The choice of the companion was clear too, considering Jay's affinity for one animal in particular. Jay is very friendly, Leszczynskaya told the Irish Independent. When we go for a walk, she always tries to play with other dogs. So Leszczynskaya and Kezlenka headed to a shelter and adopted a friend for Jay. His name was Simon, a two-year-old dog that was roughly the same size as his new fox sister. What remained to be seen was how well the two animals would get along. But the family wouldn't have to wait long to figure that out. Within two days, Jay and Simon were already getting along famously. They're best friends, always spending time together, Lushchinskaya wrote on board Panda. The duo quickly began playing games together at home, and the reason that Lushchinskaya wanted an animal who was similar in size to Jay became apparent. She told the Irish Independent that they roughhoused one another and made lots of noise. Other times, it seemed as though the fox didn't quite understand the dog's idea of a game, Leszczynskaya said. Simon always takes a ball and tries to give it to Jay and looks like he thinks that Jay should throw it, but Jay just steals it and hides it. In fact, sometimes Jay and Simon enjoyed each other's company so much that it was to their owner's detriment. Unfortunately, we have to walk them separately, Leszczynskaya said, because they can't concentrate when they are together. But Simon and Jay's strong friendship achieved exactly what Luszczynskaya hoped it would when she adopted the dog. She wanted a companion at home for the fox since she had to go to an office job. Luszczynskaya said, They spent all day together, and just over six months after she spoke to the Irish Independent, she shared on her Instagram page that the dog and fox had continued to strengthen their bond. About a year ago, we took Simon from shelter, Luszczynskaya wrote on February 10, 2018. It was very exciting to observe how he and Jay discovered their friendship. And by the looks of her photo-sharing page full of images of the dog and the fox, the duo continue to enjoy life side by side.